What's going on YouTube? Wesker Griff coming back with a in-person autograph recap for the 2017 Philadelphia Phillies Festival. Uh, the festival was today, Thursday, May 11th. Uh, just got back a couple hours ago, so wanted to do my recap. And it's kind of an annual tradition here on my channel. I always do recap videos of the of the event. I've been doing um, some recaps, I think, since 2011. So if you want to check out my older recap videos from the Phillies Festival, I'm going to leave some links down below that you guys can check out. But on to today's event, it uh, was a really awesome experience, got to meet a lot of Phillies players and get some autographs, and also all the money that I spent at the event went towards uh, raising awareness and trying to find the cure for ALS, which is a really, really awful disease, uh, a real debilitating disease, so it's a win-win situation for a collector like myself because you you get a chance to meet some of your favorite players and uh, you also raise money for a great cause. So, uh, Mike O was also there as well. I met him briefly before going into the event. We swapped a couple items and um, I did have four station tickets. Uh, the Phillies this year also hooked it up with an extra ticket uh, about a week or so ago. They sent me out a letter giving me a extra station ticket and giving me a voucher for a future game. So that was really nice of them. So the stations I had were 3, 4, 12, and 13, and the one that they sent me was station 2. So you can pause the video and see what players uh, I got and what the stations were. Pretty much everyone on the active roster was there. I think the only player that was missing is Clay Buckholtz, who's currently on the disabled list. But it was really cool that Hallie Kendrick was there because he he's on the disabled list right now, but um, he was there as well. So I was surprised to see him there. But uh, I didn't bring any Kendrick items to get signed, so I, I wasn't able to get him. But here's who I did get. Uh, big shout out to Mike O. He uh, hooked me up with this nice 2016 Tops Now card of Zach Eflin. So I got Zach Eflin to sign this card in black came out really nice got Andres Blanco on this tops card sign there in black got Cesar Hernandez real nice signature there signed in black got Mickey Mordini on this USA card And I got two Tommy Joseph cards. A lot of people were double dipping. So towards the end, uh, Tommy Joseph was one of the last stations I went to. So I just dropped down both cards and he signed both of them. This Heritage card that was recently uh, sent to me by Sports Cards Enthusiasts. And then I got this uh, rookie card signed in black. Then onto the postcards. Daniel Nava, Matt Stairs, Michael Saunders, Michael Saunders again, Mark Leiter Jr. Mark Leiter Jr. And if you're wondering why I have doubles of each of those, it's because um, they didn't take my autograph ticket for that station. So um, my brother went to get the two postcards and didn't take his ticket. So I just took the ticket back and got back in line and got two more postcards. And then uh, Joely Rodriguez signed there at the bottom. And then I got this custom sign that Mike Go sent me. And a uh, funny story with this, the signature really did not come out good. Mike, Mike O made a beautiful, beautiful custom here. But the Phillies did not have, at Brock Stashy Station, they did not have a blue Sharpie and they didn't have a black Sharpie. They only had a silver Sharpie, a blue pen, and a black pen. And obviously you're not going to get a photo signed with a blue ballpoint pen or a black ballpoint pen and they only had a silver sharpie and 
uh, it was pretty dead so the signature did not come out too great normally I always carry a blue sharpie on me but I just kind of went with the assumption that the uh, the Phillies would have a blue sharpie there but they didn't so it's a really amazing custom that Mike Go made but that was the only uh, the only speed bump of the day but it's not a big deal because I know Brock signed it and even though the signature um, didn't come out that great it, it's still a, a nice piece for my Phillies collection so happy to uh, to, to add Brock Stassi to the uh, collection and then the last thing I got signed was this uh, baseball by Jeremy Hellickson so he signed there on the sweet spot and inscribed as number 58 real nice signature so that came out good. Bob McClure was the other person that was with Jeremy Hellickson. They didn't have any photo cards of him, so um, I didn't have anything to get signed by Bob McClure. And the only other player that I got was Jared Eichhoff, but I got him on a baseball for Mike O's dad. And uh, I gave him the ball. So that was cool. So there's my recap, guys. Thanks for watching. Always appreciate you taking the time to stop by. And I hope everyone out there is doing well. Okay, take care. Peace.